This is a turtle. This is toxic radioactive ooze. So what do you get when you combine the two? Probably a sick turtle. But according to some very creative folks, you actually get a half-human, half-turtle mutation with a quirky personality, a knack for martial arts, and a love for pizza. Who knew, right? And that's not all. These weirdly mutated creatures refuse to be held back by their strange appearance or their inability to blend with normal society. From their home, deep in the sewers of New York City, they fight evil villains and save the world. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover, or a turtle by its shell. So is there a lesson here for each of us? These bizarre creatures take their weirdness, their strange mutation, and use it to accomplish something amazing. So often, we think God is only interested in using our talents and gifts, our best qualities and greatest accomplishments. But do we ever consider that He might want to use our weaknesses and imperfections too? The Apostle Paul wrote in his letter to the Church of Corinth, I'm not going to brag about myself unless it's about my weaknesses, because I want Christ's power to rest upon me. For Christ's sake, I choose to delight in weakness, insults, hardship, persecution, and difficulties. For when I am weak, that's when I'm strongest. He also compared Christ living inside us to a treasure in a clay jar. He explained that this contrast allows people to see that it's all about Jesus, not us. So maybe it's time to rethink the concept of being used by God. Maybe it's time to give Him everything, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and let Him use all of it for His glory.